What happens to the location of the point 3 comma 2 if the y coordinate is changed to negative 2? In this lesson, you will learn how to reflect points over the x and y axes by using a coordinate plane. Let's review. Here's our coordinate plane with our quadrants number and our positive and negative labeled. A common mistake is plotting a point incorrectly. You should go over and then up, not up and then over. So here we have the point 3 comma 2 in quadrant 1. Now let's look at this point in quadrant 4, that is 3 comma negative 2. What is different about these points? With the quadrant 1 point, the y is positive, but in quadrant 4, y is negative. By changing the sign of y, we have reflected that point over the x-axis. These points are like the mirror image of each other. So let's start with the same point in quadrant 1, but this time let's change the x-coordinate to negative. Now it's going to be reflected over the y-axis. What happens if we take the opposite of both the x and y coordinate, or change them both to negative? The point will be reflected to the opposite quadrant. So let's start with a point in quadrant 2, negative 4, 3. Let's change the y to a negative 3, and now we'll reflect over the x-axis and in quadrant 3. Now let's take the opposite of both x and y, and we'll reflect into quadrant 4. Let's start with a point in quadrant 3, negative 1, negative 5. Let's take the opposite of both the x and y. We'll reflect it into quadrant 1. Now we have a point in quadrant 4, and we're going to change the x-coordinate to negative. That will move it to quadrant 3, reflecting over the y-axis. If we use that same starting point again, and take the opposite of both coordinates, we will then move it to quadrant 2. So now let's start with a point in quadrant 1. If we want to reflect it over the x-axis, which coordinate are we going to change? If we're reflecting over the x-axis, the x-coordinate is not changing. It's the y-coordinate that changes. So we take the opposite of y to reflect it over the x-axis and move it to quadrant 4. Starting with that same point again, suppose we want to reflect over the y-axis. The y-coordinate stays the same, but we take the opposite of the x-coordinate and we move it to the second quadrant. If we want to move to the opposite quadrant, we're going to take the opposite of both the x and y. So in summary, to reflect points over the x-axis, use the opposite of the y-coordinate. To reflect points over the y-axis, use the opposite of the x-coordinate. And to reflect a point to the opposite quadrant, use the opposite of both coordinates. In this lesson, you have learned how to reflect points over the x and y axes by using a coordinate plane.